The Hilux New Zealand Rural Games is all about demonstrating the immense skill level required to succeed in the agri-industry. There's no better example than speed fencing, with New Zealand's top eight exponents competing through heats and semis to get to the three-man final. Local hero John Graham was the bolter, making it into the final for the first time with only three years experience to call on. But he was up against four-time Golden Pliers champion Shane Bauskell and his son Tony, who won the Golden Pliers last year. He was gunning for a three-peat in this event, having won the last two Rural Games speed fencing titles. The aim of the contest, to place two guide wires, as you would on a normal farm fence, create a diagonal stay assembly, add two posts and strain it to 150 kilograms. The upright post is the strainer, the diagonal post is the stay, and just like a joiner, they chisel out a mortise to insert the diagonal post. The breast block is a half round dug 50 mils below ground level, and it takes the pressure of the wires on the strainer post. Tony Bauskell putting his post in with the borer, going deep and not too deep as time and work quality are what this contest is all about. Newcomer John Graham from Ashurst, just out of Palmerston North, unravels the first of his two wires and checks his levels. While Shane ties off his guide wire and using his level to measure the distance between top and bottom wires. Speed fencing is both physical and very technical and John is placing his breast block which takes the pressure off the wires. Staples are hammered in on an angle to reduce the wind chatter. Out in front, the defending champ Tony Bauskell is making good time and already tying off his bottom wire. While 22-year-old John Graham is feeling the pressure, but has his post in and checks his levels. A final check that the strain is at the required 150 kilograms. Returning the tools to base, and a quick tidy up to earn those extra quality points. And the defending champion, Tony Bauskell, is across the line first. As well as the speed fencing, the sharpshooters had a battening competition using the cordless fencing stapler, one of the latest and greatest time savers in the profession. In here there's a, a gas cell, there's a battery. Every time the nose is depressed you get a shot of gas yep. and when you pull the trigger a little spark unit ignites that gas, drives the staple into the, into the timber. It's one of those tools on the fence line where speed is money and um, the faster you can do a job, the, the quicker you are to get paid. So yeah, right. these tools are certainly the contractor's choice. Hawke's Bay's Tony Bauskell makes it a three-peat, his third Hilux New Zealand Rural Games Speed Fencing Championship on the trot. His father Shane now getting used to being runner-up to his son and John Graham in his first final in third place. Well, we're here with the Bowskill family, Shane and Tony. Tony's just taken out the speed fencing. Shane, what's it like competing against you, your son? Oh, I think uh, any father's pretty proud to, to compete with their son, mate, eh? the family thing. And um, shit, he's uh, definitely got youth on his side, mate. He smoked along there and uh, cleaned me up by about three minutes. So it uh, might be a bit more, but um, nah, it's bloody good, mate. Eh? What's it like competing against the old man? Oh, it's bloody good, mate. Yeah? Yeah. No, nah, it's um, not many people get to do that sort of thing with the old man in it. Yeah. So. And did you sort of learn by simply watching through the years or uh, yeah pretty much grew up just watching the old man fence all the time and yeah. decided I'll give it a go and here we are